we were making the point that Mitt Romney may come in a far more pleasant package uh, than Donald Trump. But when you open up the box, there's not a lot of difference between these two people. And I would argue that um, Mitt Romney is far more responsible for Donald Trump than Donald Trump is for Mitt Romney. Uh, and <clears throat> Mitt Romney showed his bona fides this week. I guess it was this week where he came out and is basically saying, I'm to the right of Donald Trump when it comes to immigration. Well, he specifically, he explicitly said that. He said, I am to the right of Donald Trump on immigration. This is funny because in his, uh, in his campaign announcement speech, which was last month, he went into this big thing about how the Republicans can't afford to be marginalizing immigrants and Muslims. And, you know, he was, and there was all these people in Utah were going, oh, but this is the, the moderate, you know, Republican, Utah Republican, you know, coming to the fore, and this is going to be, and it, and it was, and I'm thinking, wow, you know, Romney's really evolved on this issue, because in 2012, he was, he's the one who brought this, this draconian immigration policies to the Republican Party. He ran on it, and in fact, they did the old autopsy they did afterwards was really kind of a repudiation of the Romney campaign's approach to um, Hispanics. And and he was horrible. Remember the self deportation thing? Yes, you know, we, we're, we're going to harass them so much, make their lives such a living hell that they'll leave. I mean, that's, and that's exactly. They, that's exactly what the what the policy is now. I mean, yeah. the the reason why we've seen such a disparity between the skyrocketing arrests and the basically static uh, deportations under this administration and the deportations we do see are and make no mistake about it. This is not um, uh, sleuths, you know, sussing this out. Uh, ICE is taking um, uh, full on credit for deporting people who have been here 30, 40 years, who have multiple kids, who have young kids, who have kids who have uh, uh, terminal illnesses, for God's yeah. sakes. And they are doing this to wreak terror amongst the immigrant population, period, end of story. They're arresting far more than they can process through. They're not arresting uh, dangerous criminals. They're arresting people, mothers, uh, grandmothers, and uh, parents, and, uh, and, and basically trying to make examples of these people. This is what self-deportation means. It means right. terrorizing a community such that they want to leave. That's exactly right. I mean, it's a, it's a form of ethnic cleansing, essentially. I mean, it really is. And the idea being that basically you just harass these people until they leave uh, voluntarily or quasi-voluntarily. And you do that by making, as you point out, making examples of people. That's Mitt Romney's policy. That's, that wasn't, Donald Trump didn't come up with that. He just ran with it when he got in, when he started running, he just went with the policy that had already been out there. And, and Romney, this, this week, in this thing where he was saying, I'm to the right of Trump on immigration, he's right, because he said that he thinks that all the DACA kids should be deported too. He doesn't believe that they should have a path to citizenship. And That's if insane. there is some kind of method by which they're allowed to the privilege of staying here in this country is that they have to be, you know, put into certain jobs. They're only allowed to work in certain areas, and they have to show and prove that they're worthy of staying in this fine country of ours. It's sickening. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. This from a guy whose grandfather was shoved down to Mexico because he had a polygamous lifestyle, yep. and he could, his, you know, he was discriminated against because of his religion. And here he is saying that, you know, these people have to prove that they're worthy of being in our country i mean it's disgusting and and right. this guy laid the groundwork for for the main trump campaign theme that is what trump ran on was anti-immigrants and anti-immigration and that is with mitt romney's the one who brought that to america thank you very much i mean not that it hasn't been out there but he's the one who legitimized it with his respectable brand and when you say that about the brand i hadn't ever heard that before but that's exactly right. We're talking about that's Rom Romney's Republican brand. He values that as much as Donald Trump values his Donald Trump brand, right? Absolutely. This is, this is the respectable, you know, vastly wealthy, religious, you know, uh, Republican 
patriarch. That's the brand. And and Trump came along and sullied that with his kind of earthy New York, uh, you know, the hyper cheapo capitalist <laughs> approach to the same brand. And he feels like it's been sullied now. And that's why he's against Trump, not because of policy. It's right, purely exactly. a brand competition here. And and make no mistake, too, uh, you know, uh, for Mitt Romney to judge the the uh, whether or not uh, DACA kids deserve to be in the United States. This oh. is a guy whose um, entire portfolio experience of hardship was living uh, with his wife in uh, graduate school on like a mere $50,000 worth of stock portfolio. <laughs> that was that's what they were bragging the about 60s. at the time yeah. of the of the <laughs> hardships. And 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 and, and I think. What's also clear here, and, and, and which should be alarming to everyone, is when Mitt Romney comes out and does this, he's not doing this to win a Senate seat in Utah, right? I mean, he doesn't need to stake out a more horrific pro-terrorized right. immigrant uh, right. community position to win the Senate seat in Utah, what he's doing is he's positioning and trying to maintain some so-called conservative bona fides mm -hmm. for a run either in 2020 or 2024. I would uh, suspect 2020, frankly, uh, against Donald Trump. And that gives you a sense of where the Republican Party is now, right, where he feels like I've got to come out and say no one is going to be more yep. um, horrific and draconian towards immigrants than I am in the Republican Party. That uh, should cause a lot of people alarm. And I would hope would help people, you know, take the, uh, the their foot off the gas when it comes to sort of uh, accelerating the the Mitt Romney is part of the uh, the the revered uh, never Trumper opposition. I mean, this stuff is. Uh, really sick, but we've got to take a break, Digby. When we come back, I would like to uh, talk about some developments in the ongoing Russia investigation on Donald Trump and the ongoing attempts to end the Russia investigation by, I was going to say, Donald Trump's lawyers. I don't know if he has any left, but uh, we will talk about that in just a moment. 